My name is Galiana Younger, and my son Gray and I live in San Antonio, Texas, and I'm an interior designer. I used to drive by this house all the time. I grew up not far from here. It's a really beautiful neighborhood. The houses are all historic. This house in particular was really, really run down, but it had a certain charm that was always appealing to me. San Antonio is heavily influenced by Mexico and the Mexican culture. And this home did have that stucco facade. It had a clay tile roof. When I walked in, it had the original hardwood floors. The walls were plaster and stucco. It had incredible crown molding, but I had a lot of work ahead of me. The whole house needed to be gutted and redone. It was in terrible, terrible shape. So I knew that I wanted to preserve the integrity of the house. The house is in a historic district but I also wanted the house to be reflective of our personality. The first thing people say when they walk into my living room is they're sort of like, wow, it's so colorful, it's so you, it's so fun. <laughs> I like having that kind of personality reflected in the space. It's very playful, it's very whimsical, and that's my personality and that's certainly my design philosophy. I like to create small vignettes, and I think it sort of gives people the opportunity to tell a story. These are some bronze baby shoes of my son's. I have some of his baby teeth in a little pretty decorative container. This is my Paris shelf, and I have everything that has to do with Paris. I found this in a Mexican market. It was completely random. It meant nothing to me at the time. I don't think you have to have really important pieces for them to be meaningful. So for example, I love my Lucha Libre coin banks that I have up there. The more random the collection is and the more personal it becomes, there's sort of a nice organization to the chaos. I also like the idea of mixing high and low and old and new and pretty fabrics and pretty materials. I like mixing a lot of different patterns and textures. I mean, one might not think that this uh, banana leaf print would go with this sort of bluish ECAT print, but I think it ties together quite well, especially when you put the black and white. I'm a firm believer in black and white. Black and white always neutralizes things and sort of puts the bow on the present. So this kitchen isn't large at all, but one of the most interesting elements is the floor, the geometric floor. The kitchen space is important to me primarily based on how it looks. I'm not a gourmet cook. I wanted to make sure that I could have a place to hang a little bit of art. The salmon, actually, my grandfather caught while he was fishing in Alaska. Just because something's functional doesn't mean it can't be fun or playful. What better place to hang a salmon than in the kitchen? I really did think about ways that I could either add storage or that I could make a closet more functional. I'm a firm believer in built-ins. I like having built-ins. People always need storage, and it's nice to have a place to display things that are important to you. So we had space for a tiny little china closet. And I love this because I've got so many beautiful things, and actually I can see them and I know where they are. And I'm not sure if I should show you this, but this also ended up being really a great thing. The dining room had the sort of built-in bench, so it sort of dictated where I would put my dining room table. I just had a table made out of plywood and put it on wheels so that I could move it. When I was thinking about what I wanted to do in my bedroom, I wanted my room to feel flirty and feminine and fun. The first place I started was with the curtains. What girl doesn't like pink silk curtains? So this was a really fun starting place for me. And then slowly just sort of added things together. The carpet is purple and I've got my sort of ochre green chests. So for the creme de la creme in the house is the master closet. I had the best time designing my closet. The idea of a woman having this sort of incredible closet, is it's like every woman's fantasy. I myself like to arrange my closet as a store might arrange their goods, so I incorporated lots of features that make it easier for me to locate things. For example, these push-pull-out drawers. 
I have some hanging racks that pull down so that they're actually accessible. I have mirrored doors. Going the extra mile and spending a little more time and resources on having a really great closet is, is really worth it in the end. I do have a very kick-ass closet. <laughs> Pink and purple and green isn't a combination that would appeal to some people. I think people are scared of color a lot of times and too many patterns. It's always easier for them to actually see an example of something like that. So I think house is an interesting place to see a lot of different things. You've got all this information and all of these beautiful images in one place. The original guest bathroom was a great place for me to be able to incorporate cement tiles. If you go to some places around San Antonio, the cement tiles are, are very historic. A powder room in a home represents an opportunity to push the envelope a little bit. I sort of started mixing and matching and the rest of the face came together. And I love it too because it looks like it could have been original. I think when I was thinking about the downstairs area, I wanted it, again, to be comfortable and a little unexpected. I love coming down these stairs and seeing this fun floor. If we go in here, this is kind of a game room where Gray and his friends like to come and play video games and watch TV, watch a movie. The curved seating area is just kind of a fun, sort of random nook. And of course, my signature built-ins. I love built-ins. I don't think you can ever have enough of them. So behind this closed door is the guest suite. And obviously the floors are the showstoppers. These were original to the house. I think pretty common for this neighborhood for whatever reason, but it's totally playful and colorful and casual and easy. Off of the guest bedroom is a bathroom. The um, bathroom downstairs was the original kitchen and there's a fireplace. It's sort of beautiful down there and it adds a warmth. It's just a pretty thing to look at on that wall. You can see I used a Mexican tile that goes all the way up the wall and sort of my philosophy is if you're gonna do it, you might as well really, really do it because it just this bathroom would not have the same impact if that whole wall wasn't tile. I had one friend um, tell me that she, she thought my house felt like a candy store because it was colorful and sweet and fun and energetic and um, that's always stuck with me. I liked that. I love that it's bright. I love that it's definitely a reflection of who we are. It's a very comfortable, warm place for us to entertain and to live.